What's up, you guys? I'm back today with another video. Skinny girls wake, the models don't compare. Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs. Woo, got me hotter than a sauna. Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama. Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance. Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants. So, you guys, today I'm about to show you guys a super easy, quick peach cobbler recipe is super bomb this is gonna be a double crust uh peach cobbler like lots of buttery crust i'm about to kick it up a notch and show you guys how to decorate the top of your peach cobbler it's so so good so if you want to see how i put together this bomb peach cobbler stay tuned okay you guys so this is what we need to make my bomb peach cobbler this easy recipe we're going to be doing a double pie crust um kind of topping i will be doing another recipe where i will do like the crumbly peach cobbler kind of uh, topping like the streusel kind of topping but this one's going to be super easy so this is what we're going to need all right so we're going to need some brown sugar some ground ginger lime juice ground cinnamon nutmeg three 16 ounce bags of sl frozen sliced peaches I know a lot of people, when they do their peach cobbler, they use um, canned peaches. I don't really like to use canned peaches. I like to use just frozen sliced peaches. It's my preference. So I have three bags of these. Three bags is, uh, is enough to make a 9 by 13 inch um, pan sized peach cobbler. Okay, so we have three bags of that. Did I say lime juice? Nutmeg. Um, a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, some sweet cream salted butter, three pie crusts. There's two inside the box. There's one extra one right there. When we get to the part where um, we do the topping, you'll see why we need three. Because, of course, we're going to use one at the bottom. There's going to be a double crust peach cobbler, sweet cream salted butter. This right here is a honey cinnamon compound butter. You can definitely, of course, make this yourself. But um, Walmart has these already made, and this is a super easy recipe. So we're going to be using this just to glaze the crust when it comes out the oven. Real nice and yummy. Um, right here, I have some vanilla bean paste. This stuff is super expensive. Um, I know everybody doesn't have this, so if you don't have vanilla bean paste, of course, use real um, vanilla bean extra. Use real vanilla extract and half the recipe and this stuff is super expensive i get it from a specialty market here so of course if you don't have this just use um vanilla extract that is all you are going to need to make my bomb peach cobbler okay all right so uh, let's get this started Okay, you guys, so first off, we're going to go ahead and open our packs of frozen sliced peaches and add them to the bowl and all the liquid that's inside of it as well. These are how they look. I prefer frozen peaches. I don't really like the canned peaches. So these, you see them? That's what I like to use. So that's the first one. Two. Number three. Next, we're going to be using a teaspoon of this vanilla bean paste. If you're using vanilla extract, use a tablespoon. But this um, paste is super strong. So, that right there is just enough. Next, we're going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. An eighth of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. This is super strong, so go very lightly with it. Okay. An eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. An eighth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. Very lightly on these um, aromatics because they're very strong. Okay. 
Okay. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of lime juice. And next we're gonna add in a cup of dark brown sugar. A little bit fell in the bowl already. Go ahead and pack this down. A little bit more. Okay, so this with the little bit that already fell in the bowl is, an, is a cup. Now we're gonna mix this up, you guys, and that is our filling. Super simple, but absolutely delicious. So this is our peach cobbler filling. This is how it's supposed to look. Now I like to let these just sit for a little bit and macerate while I work on the dough. So that's what we're gonna do. But this is how yours should look. Nice and seasoned and spiced and mm. Y'all, the syrup this is gonna make is gonna be so bomb. All right, all right. I see that, look at this syrup is making. This is gonna be amazing. See that? You cannot tell me this is not gonna be bomb. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, you guys. So now for our bottom crust, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these pie crusts, lay it at the bottom of this nine by 13 inch pan, and then I'm gonna pre-bake it until it's like golden brown around the edges. Just um, so that when um, you put that filling in, it cooks and it's not gooey. Just to make sure it's cooked. You don't want any gooey pie, gro pie dough, that's super gross. Just to make sure that the pie crust is cooked because you know, our peach cobbler is gonna be liquidy. And you just want to make sure it's cooked, all right? So here is one of those pie crusts. This is going to go in the oven just until it is golden brown. So I'm putting it in at 350 for like 10 minutes. Okay, you guys, so I just took my pie crust out the oven. This is what it's looking like. As you can see, it is baked and like starting to get golden brown. This is what you want, all right? I have my filling right here. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another big stir. Look at all this liquid it started to release. You see that? Mm. This is gonna be so good. So now we're gonna go ahead and just dump this in. That's perfect. Three bags is just enough. So next, I'm going to take half a stick of this butter and just st um, stud the top of the peach cobbler with some butter. Only half. This is good because it's gonna like you know melt and pretty much just get everywhere yeah this next step you by all means you don't have to do you do not have to be extra like i am but y'all already know how i am so if you're not you can just unravel one of these pie crusts and just lay it on the top and be done with it throw it in the oven but me i'm gonna be a little extra with it just because i got time today honey okay so my counter is clean 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay out some bench flour. Not a lot, just enough. So you don't want to change the integrity of the pie crust. You just don't want it to stick to the counter. The counters in my whole kitchen, of course, are granite. So I can use them as a work service surface as long as they're clean. And these are very clean. Okay. Bring that a little closer. Gonna unroll one of these. Okay, so I like to do designs on the top of my peach cobbler. So first we're going to do a lattice design and then I'm going to cut out some stars to go on top of mine. By all means, you don't have to do this, but I am. So let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut out some strips. It's, it's going to look pretty and it's super easy to do. Okay. So I'm cutting out half inch strips. We're going to do the entire crust like this. And then we're going to put it together on the top of the cobbler. Strips don't have to be absolutely perfect, y'all, because, you know, we're going to arrange them. Okay, you guys, so we have our strips cut out here. I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, move them a little bit just so I can bring this a little closer. Move some of that flour over too. All right. By all means, you do not have to do this. Can you guys see this good? I think so. So we're gonna go ahead and just arrange these diagonally. The longer pieces are going to go in the middle. You know what, hold up. Let me switch this over y'all, so y'all can see good. Hold up, hold up, I gotcha. Bam, better, right? Okay, so the longer pieces are going to go in the middle. The shorter pieces are, of course, going to go on the outer edges. So, just like that. This is a short one. Outer. This one's a little longer. Don't worry about the butter. Just put it right on top of the butter. So just add in your strips. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction and do the same thing. So like that. Small one in the middle. Try to tuck the ends down into the dish. pie crust y'all it looks harder than it is this, or it might not look hard to you at all it's super easy actually i think that should be good so this is how it's looking 
You can of course leave yours like this, but I'm going to add some stars to mine too. Just like, cause I just want a lot of crust. Peach cobbler, you like to have a lot of crust, right? So, this is how, I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Right here, I'm gonna space that out a little bit more. So you can see that cross hatching. But yeah, this is how it's looking. Okay. So that looks a little better. Okay. Move that. And now we're going to do our stars. Go ahead and open another pie crust. By all means, you do not have to do all this. Okay. Put a little bit of flour along our cookie cutter. And then let's make some stars. Press down. Make sure your dough is a little chilly. You don't want your dough too warm or your dough is going to be too pliable. Look at that. Perfect stars. Right? So go ahead and just put some on top. Just anywhere. It's going to just add some more depth to it. This is super cute for the holidays. When you do this, of course, you're gonna have some leftover dough. So, just FYI. So I think that's it, right? This is my leftover dough. If you felt like it, you can of course ball this into a ball, roll it out again, do all that. All right, so here is how my peach cobbler is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a closer look. Hold up. Okay, you guys, so here is a closer look of our peach cobbler. A nice amount of crust. It's going to be real nice and pretty. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about 35 minutes until the crust is all nice and golden brown. Uncovered. All right. Okay, you guys. So I just took the peach cobbler out the oven and look. Absolutely perfect. It's really golden brown. This, um ring light is kind of washing out the color but it's really golden brown yeah so all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of this cinnamon honey compound butter and just brush the top just glaze it a little bit it's just a little bit on here if you want to make your own take two tablespoons of um butter and then mix that with, I'd say, um, a teaspoon of honey and um, a little small dash of cinnamon. And, you know, there you go. A little bit more. This cobbler is super hot. I just took it out of the oven. Just brush it. With some of that honey cinnamon butter. 
Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Absolutely amazing. Don't slip up or get caught. Why not, man? I'm coming for that number one spot.